y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's stream. We are doing some more Final Fantasy 1. I think we might beat it. We, I think we might beat it, okay? Like, um, we're really freaking close. Like, we're really freaking close. Like, um, let me show you guys the game. Yeah, like, we just beat up the fire boss in the past. We're in the Chaos Shrine in the past. Um, so I guess we're gonna do the water one next. So we gotta find, we gotta find that. Um, so yeah. I think, I think we're, like, really close. I feel like I'm missing treasure chests, though, because there was, like, a lot more treasure chests in here that I'm supposed to get. I feel like I missed some. Oh, I should have used a spell to just kill everything faster. So it was such a big pack. But I kind of felt like there's not a lot of extra places to go, so I don't know. Maybe I'm not missing treasure chests. Yeah, I keep seeing these things. What? What is that? I don't know. Oh, there's treasure chests below me. I see them. I see three of them. Right in there. Come on, let Kuneko have her turn. There we go. She gonna take them all out. Oh, I meant to cast magic. Press the wrong button. Okay, we'll press the right button this time. There we go. You know what? I don't have any water spells. That's what I'm missing. I'm not missing ice spells. You don't have water spells in this game. That's interesting. You have lightning. Well, thunder is what they call it. Fire and ice. Oh, Fyra didn't do much. Does Final Fantasy have a lot of water spells? I can't think of any off the top of my head. Yeah, um, Black Magic usually has a water line of spells, too. Uh, so, yeah. But I guess not all Final Fantasies, you know. But I'm thinking mostly of 10 and 10, too, those are my favorites. There's usually like the four elementals in those, but not all of them, I suppose. Oh, there's the water one. There's the water orb. But it's funny because they do have, like, the four elementals as far as, like, when you're defeating the monsters. But that's not reflected in your spells. Like, you don't have a water spell.
Oh, those aren't treasures. What are those? I know back in 14, Black Mage is mostly focused on fire, ice, lightning. Yeah, I don't know as much about 14. I mean, I played through it, but I didn't play a Black Mage. And it's been so long since I played that one. But I guess the traditional Black Mage doesn't have water spells. I just never knew that. Hmm. Hang on, I want to explore a little bit more. I just, I feel like I'm missing treasures. Probably know way too much. I put too much time into it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, you have some of the lore books too. Yeah, I mean when you're really into an MMO, that's how it is. You know, like I played a lot of EverQuest back in its heyday, and I know way too much about that game. And um, I played a lot, of, like w probably more hours than any other game into World of Warcraft, and I know way too much about the stuff in that game. Like when you play an MMO, it's just like it's so all immersive. And you end up learning so much. But with 14, I really just, I played through the story and then I would stop. <laughs> so like I would never like go raid or do mount farming or anything like that in the in 14. <laughs> I would just um, play through the story of the expansion and I'd be like, okay, I'm done with this, <laughs> you know? Okay, let's quick save. Is there really no like treasure chest in between these different bosses? IRP in 14? Oh, so I pour over the lore books for that purpose. Yeah, I never really was somebody that RP'd M MMOs. I always um, roleplayed just over, like, text. So I would, I've roleplayed on a lot of, like, forums, social media websites, stuff like that. But um, never really in MMOs. I tried to roleplay in WoW at one point, but it just, I don't know, it just didn't feel right. <laughs> it wasn't for me, you know? But I know that, like, WoW has a roleplay scene. For Final Fantasy 14 has a huge roleplay scene. Um, Elder Scrolls Online has a roleplay scene, you know, so I'm familiar with it, but I've never really done it. All right, Kraken. You're going down, bitch. Um, what's my biggest thunder spell? There we go. Yeah, you missed everybody with your ink. Yeah, physical-wise, we are not doing much. Um, let's try to make sure Corneco doesn't die. What if I flare? Does that does that do more than than the thunder spell? Yeah. But we still have, like, so much more, and I want to use Flare later, I guess, with Thundaga. Form RP was the one that didn't work for me. I prefer Discord or other chat programs. Yeah. I think it depends on it depends on style, too. I think there's definitely something different between chat RP and forum RP, you know? And MMO is much closer to chat RP, for sure. Mmm... Okay, that null wall really does help. Corneco's taking a lot less damage from the thunder than the other players are, or the other characters. So that is good. Whoa! Kitty, no! Oh. Well, he dead. 
Sorry, kitty, you don't get the XP. <laughs> I feel like this happens to kitty a lot. Poor thing. All right, well, we beat up the water boss. Alrighty. Excuse you, why does a regular ass enemy have flair? That's not fair. One of the mind flares ran away. Here we go, Koneko taking care of the last three. <clears throat> Oh, you can silence Landon. She doesn't really cast her spells anyways. I should have done fire since it's vampires, but whatever. Levi in the other room yelling at me, use cure magic. Does that work in this game, using the healing spells? Let's try it. Let's see if it'll let her cast it. You can't even do it. You can't cast the cure spells on them. Yeah, you can't in this one. Okay. Well, we figured that out. It doesn't even let me. I just, I want to walk back up there. I just feel like that bottom right is the way we're supposed to go. Let's go back up. Oh, no, this, this was the way, this was the way. Okay, well, <laughs> oops, um, let's heal. All right, Wind Boss. Tiamat, we just beat you up not too long ago, um, and now we have time traveled to beat you up again. So have fun with that. All right, let's flare. Why can't I null all on her if I've protected her already? Is that what's happening? I can only have one? That's dumb. Hmm, I want to save that full life. Let's 
cast heal. <gasps> Corneco died anyway, the fuck? Well, I guess I saved that full life for a reason. Okay. Corneco, come back to us. when I've got Protect on, that is too much damage. It's freaking cheating. Die soon. All right, this is my last flare. There we go. Okay, we beat up Tiamat. We're gonna quick save that shit. a lot of treasure down here so like I, I, I messed up somewhere because there's no way I fought all of those all four of those and didn't find treasure in between this doesn't make sense to me <gasps> yeah hey kitty <laughs> you're a powerhouse by the way like you kick ass Wrong button. This one. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it says it's 8 out of 13. There's five chests somewhere that we haven't gotten. I don't know. Yeah, it's you, Landon, Lunar, and Koneko. Yeah, that's got to be the ending right there. Okay, wait. Let's, um... Quick save. In case it's gonna make me fight as soon as I walk in there. No, it's not. Okay. But that's definitely the ending. Okay. So where the freak are the other treasure chests? We have to find those first. The fastest little feedies? Yeah. Look, we can make it be you. Um, oh, wrong thing. There we go. There, now it's you. We're running around as, uh, as Kitty. Okay, we never did go down here. Maybe this is where the treasures are. Oh, there's one. Oh, Masamine. I thought that's what Excalibur was gonna be. Masamune's better? But Excalibur I got an achievement for. But Masamune's better. We're gonna wear Masamune then, okay? All right.
we did miss treasure chests. Like, we just did not explore this very well. This place was just so big. Kitty, how have you been, by the way? I think I got discouraged from like checking places because I would like check places and there would just be nothing. So I would just wasn't looking as much. Oh, there's a chest. Protect cloak. Okay, yeah, I just did not do a good job of exploring. Elixir, okay. Oh, had a commercial life is good. Life is good for me too. Life is good for me, too. We're about to beat this game. Kitty, you're here for what I think is the finale. Like, I think that that last room that we saw... Yeah, I just didn't... I did not explore. Okay, wait. Is this all the chests? Nope, we have one more. Okay. Down here? Yep. Sasuke's Blade! We got another one! We already learned, though, that we can't use Sasuke's Blade. I can't believe one of them's not Naruto's blade. I've been great life. Oh, you I already read that. <laughs> had a commercial come on, had to fix that real quick. Yeah. No commercials. Okay, let's go back. Oh, wait. No, back is this way. Gotta go up. Yeah, is this place was just so big, I just didn't explore very well. We fixed it. We got all the treasures now. Right? Yes, I got them all. Oh, yes, I did, because there's the achievement. Collected treasure from 100%. Okay. 100% of the treasures. Hell yeah. We're not 100% on the bestiary yet, though. I don't know what those little things are. This way, this way. There we go. Down the stairs. The makeup's on point. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I love this camera, by the way. Like, it does everything. Okay, here we go. Here we go, you guys. Let's quick save. Are we healed? Did we heal? No. Let's heal. Okay. Um, let's use my dry... Yep, my dry ethers on these guys. Okay. Alright. Now we are good. Let's quick save. You gotta look cute when you're beating up monsters, right, kitty? It's like, that's a really important part of beating up monsters is looking cute while you do it. Okay. It is time. It is time to take on chaos. Chaos stole my lunch money. Let's get it back. Girl boss slay, that's right. Do you remember me? I was once the most renowned Knight of Cornelia. Two thousand years from now, you killed me. I am Garland. Oh fuck. Chaos is Garland, you guys. Chaos is Chaos is the first boss. Oh, you did defeat me then. But the four great forces saved me by sending me back through time. Oh, so he's a time traveler too. Once here, I sent the four fiends into the future, where they shall once again use the four great forces to send me into the past. He made a time loop so that he can be in power forever. In 2,000 years, I will remember none of this. What the hecky? 
but I will be reborn again here. So even as you die again and again, I shall return. Born again into this endless cycle that I have created. It sounds convincing we should hear him out. <laughs> what the heck? I can't. It's Garland. Garland is chaos. Garland is chaos. My mind is blown right now. I thought this was such a cool plot twist. This is a cool plot twist. What the heck? Final Fantasy 1 had story, y'all. Back in the day. Back in the day, it has some plot. It has some plot going on. Okay, let's kick this, kick this bitch's ass. Um, no time loop. No time loop for you. Okay. No time loop. Mr. Scimitar says his hot take is that he likes one more than seven. Oh, Mr. Oh, Mr. Kitty. Sir. I mean, this is cool. We'll, we'll give my final thoughts when we beat it. This has been cool, but... Yeah, that's like, you can't, ha that's not a take. Just don't tell, you know, just those are, should be inside thoughts. I think that should be an inside thought, sir. Just respectfully. Um, that's what I think. It's okay sometimes to have, oh man, I, I meant to flare. It's okay to have like inside thoughts sometimes, you know? It's okay. I give you permission. Okay, oh, let's try holy. I wanna, I wanna holy the chaos. Let's make him holy. I'm gonna um, fill his holes with light. There we go. Final Fantasy VII is one of my favorite games. It was the game that really got me into gaming, yeah. I think it was a lot of people's first favorite RPG. Holy didn't do as much as Flare, okay. But at least it w was a big attack that uh, Lunar can do. We're gonna do it again. Yeah, Final Fantasy's always been beautiful. Don't worry, he's still like seven more than 13. Oh, good. Oh, thank God. <laughs> At least he has the right opinion on some things. There is redemption. Okay, let's, um... Oh, wait. There we go. I was like, where's my healing? We need to, we need to help Landon out. Oh no, Landon's gonna die. Oh no, she's not. Okay. something that healed status effects. No, okay. But it's okay, we'll remedy. We bought a bunch of remedies, so it's all good. PS1 has so many amazing RPGs, that's true. No, Landon! Baby, bring you back. Jesus. Damage is unfucking real. SNES and PS1 era's RPG Golden Age. Yeah, when Squaresoft's absolutely dominated. Very true. Chrono Trigger was probably my first um, RPG that like really was like like spoke to me. Um, as an RPG that I just thought was like the coolest shit that I've ever seen. Oh, Kiraja. That's what I, that's what I had. Okay. Well, let's, um, Kiraja Kitty. We can't, we can't let our, our, uh, Black Belt die.
This music is cool as fuck, too. Okay, well, next we're gonna, um, Kiraja Koneko. Fuck! Why? Why does that happen to Kitty sometimes, where she just, like, one-hit codes? Watch, he's gonna die. Well, now that Kitty's dead, he's gonna die. Oh, good. There's been so many times, Kitty, that you did not get experience on a boss because that happened. Okay, let's full life. And then, oh, we're out of flares. Mother. Okay. Well, we'll switch over to Blizzard's. She's lightweight, just like me in real life. Yeah, but she packs a punch, man. She packs a punch, can't take a whole lot. No, she dishes out a lot, but can't take a whole lot. That's true. I never had a SNES, but PS1 had so many great titles. Yeah, 7 Xenogears Coden. So I never had a PS1, actually. When PS2 came out, because it was backwards compatible, that's when I went and played a lot of PS1 games. But I had a SNES. I had a Super NES. The class is pretty much a glass cannon, yes. I am seeing that steam from her, for sure. So many times this has happened. Um, okay. How's my health? Everybody's health's okay. Lunar's actually... Lunar could hear give her own health. There we go. Um, Blizzard. Blast cannon, yeah. I could reapply protect as well. Let's do that. Because Landon and Kitty have both lost theirs. And Chaos has so much defense. For real, for real. I like I don't do the da the numbers I'm used to seeing on the damage. <laughs> it's a good evil laugh time. Uh okay. Uh Yeah, I don't wanna I I, I wanna be able to have those full lives available to me. Is Chaos considered undead? Let's find out. Um Yeah, SNES has so many good RPGs, especially if you include the Japanese-only releases. Yeah, a top 10 list still excludes some really good stuff. Yeah, SNES was amazing. Okay, you're gonna cure yourself. And then... Keep Koneko up. Oh no, Koneko, don't die. Alright, well, that's fine. Curing Kitty's fine. Now we'll attack. What? Did it just heal all of its health? What the fuck? It just healed all of its health, and then it cast Tsunami, a spell I've not seen yet. Are we in a phase two? Does Final Fantasy one have a f have phases? And Landon's dead. The game cheated, yeet it. My god!
Wish you would have done that on Kitty. And Koneko died. last full life. Oh, and now you're gonna haste, so you'll do even more. Love it.
Cyclone, that's new. How, how, is this a third phase? Or does he just do that every so often? Every so often it's basically a DPS race. Okay, so I've already fucked up. Okay. It's a DPS race. I have to do as much damage as possible. That's the point. So if I don't kill him fast enough, he's going to go back to full. <clears throat> okay. And I can't see the boss's health in this game, so I don't know how close I got. Can 
Can I see your Black Mage spell list real quick? Yeah. When I do the next round, I'll pause there. So I just can't cast that on Koneko for some reason? Null all always misses on her. I guess I'll do... Protectra. You're good, I've seen what I was looking for. Okay. Why, what do I need to do? Remedy doesn't cure slow? What cures slow? Haste? Yes. Okay. Slow and haste work a little different than usual in this game. Yeah, it's it doesn't make much sense. Because it just like, adds attacks, is what it seems like it's doing. dead. Oh no? Okay. Yeah, slow basically means dealing less damage. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. I guess you're just supposed to imagine them going faster or slower, and so it deals more or less damage. It's weird.
Am I just not leveled up enough? Is that what's happening here? I just do I just need to go grind? I don't think that's necessary. You got some things available that'll help you out before going and le leveling? Okay. Saber again. That was making me do more damage. Because I'm fighting the final boss and I'm losing really bad. What's up? Uh, no, there was a new pan. I didn't have a new grate. Sorry. <laughs> Kitty says hi. He says hi back. What 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 do I need to do? Like I'm not I'm not understanding something clearly. Cause I guarantee he's about to do the nine nine the the super cure again. And then I'm gonna need to reset.
The party was defeated. Okay, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to beat this guy? Let's see. Try again. Yeah, please do, Steam. What am I supposed to, what am I doing wrong? I'm clearly setting up wrong. Protect is not helping. There's something else I'm supposed to do at the beginning. I just don't know what it is. Temper raises attack would be good for your physical damage dealers. I don't think I have temper. Where's temper? Is that a black magic spell? Oh, this one. Okay. Got it. It's this guy. All right. Temper on physical damage dealers, okay. So is Protect helping me or is that just a waste? Would I do better casting like something else on the people? Raising defense, but I think raising evasion would be better. Okay. Can I slow him? Will slower do anything to chaos?
You could slow if he hastes himself. Okay. Gosh, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. I got beef jerky power up, you guys. That's really good. I do too. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Thank you. nervous about um Lunar's HP so we'll do that. Yeah the second batch was excuse me better. Okay, so he hasted himself so I could try slowing him next. Why do you only do one damage? Is it because he was slowed from before? Oh no, slow is black magic. Let's see, who needs a heal? Actually, they're doing pretty good. Let's um just do that. Oh no. Um we're slow. Oh it missed. got slow on her. Okay. Let's do... That's so dumb, the way slow and haste works in this game. There we go. Now Lynn is uh, eight damages back.
He's got Invis, and Temper and Haste are black magic. So... <laughs> Koneko, did you just redeem first? Yeah, no one redeemed first. <sighs> it's funny. Completely forgot about the first today. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. I'm back from fa Fantasy Fair. How was it? We're dying. Yeah, more of that. Okay. We're all buffed up. It was super fun. Oh my gosh, really? How was the weather? Did it hold out for you? The weather behaved itself, only a teeny bit of rain happened. It was heckin' cold, but nice. Oh, I'm so glad. Fuck, Landa keeps losing all of her buffs. Hopefully Lunar will go first. Nope, nope, they won't. <gasps> oh, we beat him. <laughs> oh, we did it. <sighs> Lunar and Landon, I'm so sorry you were dead for that, but we did it. <laughs> oh my god. That, okay, this game went from difficult to easy to like, what the fuck? <sighs> Get it, Karen! Thank you, Koneko. Oh my god. The time loop was severed at last. The endless struggle that raged over 2,000 years had ended, and peace prevailed once more. That was so, that game was so hard. That boss was so hard. The light of the four crystals restored the forces of wind, water, earth, and fire. It was a mere trick of fate that had given rise to the chain of Garland's wrath. But magnified by the four forces meant to guide our world, that trick of fate also gave birth to the fiends. You had 12 to 13 turns to deal 20k damage before he fully heals. So Kitty really going handful buffed did it. MVP Kitty. Monsters had run rampant as the world sank into darkness. But all that is now past. With the four forces flowing as they were meant, the warriors prepared to cross time and return to the world they knew. A world where Princess Sarah, Queen Jane, and even Garland himself await. When was this fateful day that sent time spiraling into a loop? None can say. It seemed the cycle into which time had fallen would last forever. 
But the bravery of four young travelers changed that. They took the forces that filled the world with darkness and used them to bathe the world in light. None will ever recall the struggle the four endured, but the breaking of the chain means that it never existed. But within the tales of fantasy that people tell, the memories of their deeds live on. Tales of dwarves and elves, of dragons and shining civilizations that reached for the heavens even as they fell. And now, their return is upon us. With the memory of their struggle buried deep in their hearts, they will quietly watch over our world. Remember, always, that the forces of the world must be used as they were intended, that the power of light must never be used for dark, and that the true crystals reside in your heart. It truly was the friends we made along the way. For you are the warrior who crossed time. You are the bringer of light. Well, that was the last line. I thought it was more because I dot dot dot. So I guess I should sort of said, uh, you are the bringer of light. That's the end. It's the end of the game. To the fans across the globe, both past and present, and to the crew who bought, brought the originals to light, we offer a profound and heartfelt thanks. Is it credits now? Hmm. Oh, are we traveling through time? Oh, Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster staff. Yeah, let's let the credits play. Let's let the credits play. Everyone in Twitch is in an ad right now anyways. Thank you to all the Pixel Remaster people. Art director. You did- the art was good. The pixel art was really good. I like all the updates. It like- it looked the way the originals- what the way you would remember the visuals of the originals without it actually being, you know, those- those NES visuals. But it looked, it looked like the way you remember an SRPG being. I'm so glad you got back to catch this too, Koneko. It was hard. That final boss was so hard. Oh my god. Every, pretty, most of the other bosses, like, that we've played this weekend, we just spanked them. But Chaos? Chaos spanked me. It was actually very challenging. Um... I had to fill uh, the holes in his heart with light, and he did not want it, okay? It was very difficult. Very difficult. All right, welcome back from the ad, Twitch. Thank you guys for, for tolerating that. You didn't miss anything. I just, I was letting the credits roll so you wouldn't miss anything. Oh my gosh. So we beat the game. We beat the game. We got all the treasure. We did everything. We'll have to go look at the achievements, because I think there's a couple achievements we didn't get. We have to go back and look at those. Um, 
see if we can do them. But that's the game. Good job on the music too. All the all the remastered music was beautiful. All most of the tracks I really adored. Um, yeah, I liked them a lot. Really, really beautiful music. This game, um, I found this game quite challenging. Oh, sorry, it's I'm loading up a page in Chrome. It's Chrome, chill out. Stop. It's, it's loading ads. It's loading stupid ads in stupid Chrome. That's why it's taking it's taking all my resources. Okay, there we go. It's back. Oh, gosh. Chrome, stop loading the page. I've already gotten my information. Stop loading the page. I know you're just loading ads. I hate that fandom.com has gotten taken over the way it has. I wish I could, like, tell this tab to stop loading. Okay, it's hopefully stabilized now. I wanted to pull up a bestiary because I want to see how many creatures we haven't gotten yet and see if we can go get those. Because I think that would be... That's probably the only one we don't have. Oh, and I think there's an achievement for getting all your characters to 50, which we were very close to doing as well. So we could probably grind that up, and then we'd, like, truly platinum. I can't wait for the independent Final Fantasy wiki to get fully caught up for fucking real. Fandom.com is trash now. I mean, I have ad blocker, and the pages are still ridiculous with how many ads are the ad blocker doesn't catch. It's just insane. But the Final Fantasy fandom wiki is the best one. It's got all the stuff. <laughs> yeah, I really liked this Pixel Remaster. So to just kind of remind you guys, I, I never really beat or played this game very much. Um, when I got a PS2, when I got a PS2, they, uh, you know, they re-released a lot of Final Fantasy games and a lot of it was backwards compatible to like the PS1 releases and stuff like that. So I had played a little bit of Final Fantasy 1. I'd only gotten as far as that first dungeon, the Marsh Cave that's so fucking long and you're like what the heck? Why does it take forever? And, um, and I can definitely see why younger me was not interested at that point. So this really was truly my first time really playing this game. Um, it was really really nice to see where the original Final Fantasy came from and, and what, what elements of Final Fantasy are still present in the original and what you can still see in a lot of mainline entries today. In particular, as many of y'all have noticed throughout this playthrough, a lot of mentions of what's similar in this game versus Final Fantasy XIV. And XIV just does such a good job of um, paying homage to older Final Fantasies. And, uh, and so I really enjoyed being able to see a lot of that. So it was really nice. Do you have Breeze Wiki? No, I don't know Breeze Wiki. I just Google I just Googled um, Final Fantasy One Bestiary, and the Fandom Wiki popped up first. So that's what I went with because I know it's good information on there. There's an extension called Breeze Wiki that lets you see fandom pages without all the excessive stuff. Oh, it's an extension. Oh, I need to get that shit. I need to get that. Oh my god. Okay, I need to get that for sure. Because I use, uh, there's several fandom wikis that I use regularly. Because they're the best ones for whatever, for several things. Oh, we're on, okay, we're on the English people now. Yeah, so this game was pretty good. Um, I really enjoyed it. You know, I know, I don't know what I was expecting from like the original Final Fantasy. Um, because it's such an old game. You know, I didn't really have very high expectations, but I can really see why this captured people at the time, considering what other RPGs were available. You know, especially to Western audiences, we had like the original Ultima, uh, Wizardry, maybe a few other things. But RPGs at the time that this would have come out were all basically like computerizing Dungeons and Dragons to some extent. I'll link it in the Discord. Okay, sweet. Thank you, Koneko. I, I will definitely get that. Um, fandom. I use fandom.com all the time. 
Um, so I can totally see how this would have captured the imagination of people that were very used to RPGs being like computerized D&D-esque things. Because this really isn't. I mean, it is in the sense that you're doing like a medieval setting and you've got like a party of characters that you choose and they have stats and things like that. But this has its own flavor. The, the, the feel of this is not Dungeons and Dragons. And the plot of this is not Dungeons and Dragons either. You know, I don't know what I expected, but to see that even the original Final Fantasy is not really like Western fantasy at all is really cool. Like going around and collecting crystals um, and kings and, and things like that's that's very fantasy. You know, well, it's crystals. We, use, we like it to be rings because of Lord of the Rings in the West, but crystals, same, it's very similar. But then you time travel. Then at the end, you time travel and you go and fight Garland again, 2,000 years in the back. I, I had no idea. I was not expecting that. So that was pretty cool. Um, I actually, I, the story was very sophisticated, I thought, for what could be done on the NES and, and how much memory you actually had in the NES. And, you know, there's only so much text you can fit. You know, text is memory. And when you have very s a small amount of memory, that's why older games did not really have a lot of story. But this really did. Like, it had a real story. It was short. It was, it was a contained, tight, um, simple story. But it was a story. Um, and I, I think that's really cool that they were able to, like, fit something really dynamic and interesting like that into such a small thing as a, an NES cartridge. So they did, it was good. It was good. Um, there are definitely parts that are very old, like how so many of the NPCs would say the same thing. How even after you helped them, a lot of times their text wouldn't change. Only some NPCs would tell you new things after you solved their problem. A lot of them wouldn't, you know, which is a very funny artifact of old games. But, uh, but I found very interesting uh, how much they were able to do with, with what they had. So yeah, overall, for its time, for its time, an absolutely 10 out of 10 game. In the modern times, I mean, it's cool to see where we came from, but I probably would not play it again. And I probably would not have finished it if it weren't for streaming it with you guys. Um, although it was relatively short. So yeah, that's my thoughts on, uh, on the first Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster version. I think we're at the end of the credits finally. So we'll go look at the bestiary as soon as it rolls back around. Square Enix. Yeah. I remember when it was just Square and Enix, not Squeenix. Are we going to move on to any others? Yes, we will do another Final Fantasy next. Do y'all have a preference? I kind of, I'm kind of wanting to do either another one of the Pixel Remasters or maybe OG Final Fantasy VII. What do y'all think? Oh, my controller went to sleep in that time. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, is that it? Seven is great, yeah, OG seven. There we go. Um, save data, save completed, yes. Was progressed up to the final boss, yes. Oh, it's got a star. Okay. Yes, let's return to the title screen. Oh, prophecy foretold, I defeated chaos. All right, let's look at the bestiary. What are we missing from here? Okay, we're missing number 83 and 85. Let's see where those are. 1 had also had a super boss, which is super rare encounter. It's only one room in the game, really, like the original. Does Pixel Remaster have that? Okay, both of those appear in the desert area. 
We just didn't wander around the desert very much. Okay, 103. Let's see where he is. Tyrannosaur! Uh, let's see. Also in the desert. And 118. In the Flying Fortress. And then 122 and 23. In the Chaos Shrine. Basement 4. Okay, and in the Chaos Shrine. Hey, Karen! Hey, Nikki! Hey! Sorry for all the slowdown. Chrome is, of course, loading all the, you know, BS of the wiki. Okay. It's in this one, too? Well, let's try to fill out the bestiary. Because that is a, that is, um, an achievement. Nikki, we just beat the game. We're gonna do some bonus content now. Okay, so it saved right before going into the Chaos Shrine. Interesting. Yeah, we just beat it, so I'm gonna try to do some of the bonus stuff now. Because we do have, um, some achievements. Oh wait, our encou encounters are on. Some achievements to get. Sandworm. I think that was one of them, actually. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. Yeah, Sandworm was one of them. Let's see if we can, like, fully platinum this bitch. Yeah, that was a good game. I really have enjoyed this. Just loop around the tower. Do you want to stay with the Pixel Remaster? Five and six are really good. Yeah, six is great. I, I six is a really good game. I've never really played much of um, five, but I six I have very fond memories of playing. But Final Fantasy three, in you know, for us. But yeah. What do y'all think about going to seven next? Oh, Allosaurus. Okay, that's one of the ones I need. Tyrannosaur, okay. Well, that's all of those. All right, there's also in the Flying Fortress. Oh, I think this might be the, the one you're talking about. It only appears on the bridge leading to Tiamat and it has a one in 64 chance to spawn. Oh, and then there's another one that's in the Chaos Shrine that has a 1.6 chance of being encountered. Okay. And then Purple Worm. Alright. Um, so Warmek. I have to get up to... See if I can remember how to go through here. Let's run. So we actually, we got most of the uh, the guys. I got Warmech to show him five battles before. Two hours, what? Now let's see if we can get him. Cause I like to 100% this shit. You know what I'm saying? There's a couple of super rare monsters.
Okay, this is the first floor, so we have to go all the way to the end. Yeah, not here. straight down here. This bridge, right? Yeah, because there's where we fought Tiamat. Okay, encounters on. Let's go. There's no, there's no feature to do extra encounters here, unfortunately. Um, so we'll just have to try and see if we can do it the old-fashioned way. <clears throat> One in sixty-four. So this is like, we're shiny hunting, you guys. We're shiny hunting for a war mech. See if we can get lucky and get him in like 20 minutes. What is it, wait, you wanna help me get War Mac? You wanna help me get the War Mac? Come on. Come on up here. She doesn't want to hop up, I guess. She wants me to come down on the floor with her. But I'm busy. Those black plan are so annoying. Of course they will pop up again. Let's try Blizzaga. Will that kill them all? Yep. Alright, I need y'all to send me your good gamer energy to find this war mech so we can platinum this game. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. I need them vibes. Why do you cast it immediately? I haven't even hit you yet.
I like it when they let Koneko go first like that. Helpful. Oh, it was easier to get this fight in the nest version for two reasons, one of which was a 3 in 64 chance. Well, why did they change it to 1 in 64? Was it just messed up in the nest version? It was supposed to be 1 in 64? They should have kept it 3 in 64. Why is there an achievement for the um, Excalibur if it's Moss Immune that's the strongest sword? Right, 4.5 chance is 100 times more, yeah, than 1.5 chance. Yeah, that's like, that's like way more reasonable. <laughs> that's way more reasonable. And apparently this isn't even the only rare monster. Our Iron Golem, we're gonna have the same problem in basement four of the Chaos Shrine. We gotta go back there and find um, Iron Golem. Oh, keep running too far. I got way luckier with the Iron Golem than I did with the Warmech for sure. Oh really? According to this wiki, they are the same 1.6% um, chance. They're the same like 1 in, one in 64. the zoomies she's like zooming down the hallway and back and forth <clears throat> Why are y'all picking on Kitty so much? I don't know, lady. It's so rude. 
They should have a um the fast forward feature like they do in so many other like PC versions of these games. So I could go super fast. Hunting. Wait, what level am I? Oh, we're getting close to the the getting everybody level 50 achievement too. walk in front of the screen so I can't see what's going on. That's my chapstick. Don't mute my microphone, lady. Don't mute my microphone. She's over it. She's like, stop it. And you're very cute, lady. You're very cute. Another one of you. I meant to magic, not attack with Koneko. Just got cat fur all over my all over my monitors. Next one's gonna be it. I can feel it, you guys. It's gonna be the war mech. Here we go. Come to me, war mech. Come to me. No, more black plants.
There we go. Okay. Warmack, Warmack, where are you? Okay, one more, one more battle. One more battle to see if we can get the war mech. Nope. <laughs> I thought, I thought maybe. Okay, this is, this is the last battle we're gonna do for, um, for today. And then I'll show you guys how close we are to platinuming. Okay, let's quick save. All right, so. Let me switch the view. I'm gonna close out the game because I want to show y'all Steam. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. Okay, so you guys can see we basically we've got almost all the achievements. There's only three that we have not gotten. Um. You can see it's reached level 50 with all party members, which we're very close to. Field research, 100% of the bestiary. So we've got War Mech to get, and then we have to go back to the Chaos Shrine and get Iron Golem. We're also missing Purple Worm, which is in the Chaos Shrine, but he's not rare, so we'll get him no problem. And then, of course, the Earned All the Achievements achievement. So that's where we are. So basically where I want to leave it um, today is... Um, We've beaten the game, okay? We've beaten the game. Uh, and next weekend, we have our community day on Saturday with Sunhaven. But on Sunday, I do want to try to platinum. So we are going to hunt for the Iron Golem and the War Mech before we move on to a new game because that's what you get here, y'all. We're completionist, okay? And and filling out the beast theory, I think, I, I think, you know, showing you guys the rare things in this game, showing you guys all the treasure chests. That's like the stuff that I want to do. So that's what we're going to do on Sunday. Hopefully we will finish it and we can um, move on to completing another Final Fantasy game. So if you're watching the recorded version of this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. There will be a couple more episodes of, uh, of some rare hunting. Uh, so yeah, see you, see you next week for that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget you guys to make it a great day.